been searching for my friend for so long, I can't even remember where we used to meet. I have to find her. Go and make me cry, Sue. Nope. Up. Hmm. There's probably a hint somewhere for this. I'll find it eventually. And this is probably that hint, okay. I'm so tired. I had a long day. How do you do? It's someone's birthday today. Hello! Do you think I can fly? When will more Zora wake up? Today is my birthday! Okay, so... They each have a number. I assume that's the order I need to do things in. So, four... Seven... Three... Six... One... Eight... Five... And two. So I assume that's the order, let's try it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow, good eye! You found the blue stone key. Where was that door? Ah, oh, it got bigger. You already have one. Oh, my feet. Thank you. There's just two more that need something now. And then I pull the switch, and that gives the guy water. This is great! I can feel the water flowing up to the ground and into my toes. Did you guys do this? All we did was pull a switch. You gave me water! WATER! I can finally be me again! Thank you so much! N no problem. Okay, that's two. So the last guy wants dirt from somewhere. Huh. Hmm. Oh, the, the, he moved. That's convenient. Western Waterfall, of course. You trying to get to the Western Waterfall flow switch? Oh, uh, yes we are. We're well, going to have to find a way to move these rocks first. Do you have a pet pig by chance? Uh, a pet pig? <laughs> Goodness no. That's too bad. Pigs love rocks. A pig will clear these rocks out in five seconds flat. Interesting. Thank you for the information. I have never seen you guys before. You don't look like Leibos. You certainly don't look like you're from the Envoy. So you must be new. Do you have any questions? Do you live here? Yeah, you should live right through the door up there. Unfortunately, some golems were roughhousing right above my front door. There's a pile of rocks blocking my entrance. That's terrible. Ah, it's no biggie. There's a pig living around here somewhere. She only eats mushrooms and rocks. I'm sure he'll clear this out once he comes around. Um... Then ones are between this realm and another. Most of them are harmless, just spirits passing through. 
But some of them have grown overcome with bad energy. Fear, anger, hatred. It's those that you have to watch out for. Any questions? Yeah, what are you? I'm a cave bud. Along with mushrooms, flowers, and mini moris, we help keep the forest running. Okay, so I'm looking for a pig. Huh? Oh, mom, look! It's a little onion! Are you calling me a little onion? Oh, I'm sorry. You're much bigger than any other onion I've seen. Your face is going to be an onion if you don't stay out of my way. Wow, bitch. Oh, look, it's a kid who thinks I'm little. Let me ask you something, kid. See these fists? Are these little? Um, well... You think my fists are little? Well, what kind of fists do you have? Dumb, stupid fists? My fist is probably bigger than your body. Because you're an onion. Uh, does the same key work? Yes, it does. Okay. The beer golems are always roughhousing. I'm not ready for that yet, so I'll just hang out with the cats. Cool. I mean, I'd probably do the same thing. And what are you exactly? You come feed me rocks or truffles. No, then I stay here. Wah, wah, wah. I mean, well, you have rocks. Come on. Oh, okay. So I need to find some rocks. Or mushrooms and then lure him. Great. The door is locked. How dare you? Bum, bum. Dude! Ah! 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 What are you doing, man? You totally stepped on a ranch room! A ranch room? Oh no! Ah, sorry, I really didn't mean to. Hmm. Come here, little dude. Am I in trouble? Nah, we're cool. I'll tell you you're a good little dude. I'm King Spore, and these are my totally radical Shvenji gods. Together, we make up the Ranch Room Preservation Society, or RPS for short. All around Morzora's cave, there's a great battle going on. A war between good and evil. A struggle between rad and bad. This place is a literal war zone. Yes, yes. You should be surprised. Shocked. Surprised. For ages, the red shrooms and the bad shrooms have been at war. Red shrooms. Like the poor little dude you just stepped on. Sorry. It fill the air with righteous spores that make you peaceful, kind, and full of red. Red shroom spores in the air I mean we all get along better. Bad shrooms on the other hand. <gasps> bad shrooms. No! Bad shrooms are totally uncool. When you breathe in their spores, you become rude. Gnarly. Stock up! The little dude. Whilst on your totally righteous journey, the RPS asks that you help stomp out the bad while totally protecting the rad. I'll try my best. Awesome. Hey, little dude, is that like your mom? Yes. My moms are totally cool. Boink. Okay. So, don't step on the cats. Oh my god. How radical am I? Hmm. I'm totally gonna have to check with my sources and, like, get back to you, man. See ya. Okay. I went up here, right? 
I don't remember. I did not. This is a very complicated make. Ow. Okay. holes are there? How about here? God damn it. I mean, there's no hint as far as I can see, unless he tells me a hint. Watch your step. Thank you. So helpful. Did you know there's a treasure chest in the room below me? Pit is behind the locked door. I wonder what's inside. Let's find out. <sighs> it locks from the inside. Boom. Stupid mushrooms. Ah, I need an axe for that. God damn, these controls. So avoid the white mush. Mm. Avoid white mushrooms. I know it's hard to believe, but did you know that there's a pig living inside this cave? It's kind of insane. Lucky for us, they only eat rocks and truffles, not cave buds. Just between you and me. Not that I'd ever wish being eaten by a pig on anyone, but... The pig had to eat someone in the cave? I had to choose who it was? Well, I'll just be honest with you. I choose the truffles. Don't step on the, the rat shrooms. That dreadful pig that lives down here only eats two things. Rocks and us! Ugh, so barbaric. We're the most delicious dirt in all the forest. And that's how it should be. We are the best mushrooms, so we should get the best dirt. Ha ha ha. If you come here to ask for our dirt, we're not just going to give it to you if you don't give us something in return. Oh my. Boink. Uh, boink, 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 boink. Those rocks are weird. Why are they weird? Well, one time I saw a musher jump from rock to rock to get to their side ends, and he's jumped. The rocks turned blue. What's up with that? Weird, right? Yeah, as in, you're telling me something that just happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm used to doing these types of puzzles. Very common in, um... I think Pokemon games have a lot of them. Ooh, pretty. You found some pig repellent. Hmm, I wonder, who in this cave would want something like pig repellent? Squish. Probably the Truffalos. Just guessing. You found 10G. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go give some pig repellent to the stuck-up pricks. Yeah, I'll trade you for some dirt. Wait. Is that pig repellent you're carrying? Look, we need that! We'll give you a bag of our best dirt if you gave us that pig repellent. I'll even throw in some truffalo perfume. It's so refined. This perfume will make even a lowly cave one smell as good as us. 
But stay away from pigs while you're wearing it, otherwise they might follow you around. Disgusting! Barbaric! Uncouth! Yeah. Delightful! Now that, the, now that uncouth pig will finally give us some peace and quiet. Okay, I'm going to save. Because I keep having close clo close calls on st stepping on red shrooms. God damn it. Just let me go this direction. Ah, I got you, dirt. Doth my rooty nose deceive me? That define fragrance. May it be thou carries the tastiest of the most coveted dirt in all the forest. Yes. Oh, wonder of wonders, I thank thee for thine gift. Fare thee well, my friends. Oh, wow. Maybe this is what's making the mushrooms, the onions, so mad. Well, some feels. Different. So only feel happy. Thanks for clearing the air in here. No problem. You got anything to say to me? Wow, such a nice cave. Sound of the underground river in here. Cool feel the rocks beneath my stalks. Wow, I really like your hats. Okay, where's that pig? Squish. Of course, now I also feel like I need to re-explore the entirety of the cave just to get all the um, bad shrooms. Wah, wah, wah! You come to feed me rocks or truffles? I wonder if you would follow us if we use the truffle perfume. Oh, you're actually going to make me use it? Save. Wah, wah, wah! Why you smell like truffle, though? I follow. I'm just glad he didn't try to eat us. Yada uh, yada yada, up. Nom, 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 nom. Rocks yum. Now truffle for dessert. Good luck with that. Uh, I guess that pig finally ate the rocks blocking our door. So I need to tell those golems to go rough house somewhere else. Western waterfall. Western water flow switch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going to go explore for bad bad shrooms. Uh, no, I already went through that. I think there's only one or two rooms on this side I missed. I think I came from here. Yeah, I did. So, down and to the left, maybe? Two to the left. Hmm. Nothing in here. Okay. Guess I got all of them. Good to know. Yeah. I need to explore the right side.
Okay, nothing over here. Don't see any bad shrooms. Or red shrooms. There are some. Squish. 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 Hi, will you give me an apple? Oh, I'm so beautiful! My feet tell me that you helped them all of them. Because you gave them sun, water, and dirt, I was able to grow up into a full tree. Thank you for your help. We all feel much better now. Here, say thank you. I want you to have one of my fruits. Cool. Uh, no bad shrooms over there. Also need to explore the entire underground area again. Fuck you, bedroom. Nothing here, okay. I assume I get something for doing all the bedrooms? I don't know though. And for only squishing this single rad shroom that you need to for the storyline. That's good. Squish. There might be some down here. Do, 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 do. Bad shrooms down here. Huh. And none spawned up here. Okay. Fast forward. Okay, give this guy fruits. I smell silver apple. Yeah, here you go. Oh boy! I feel so different now. It's like I have so much more energy. Woohoo! Push. Buff glow shroom. Yeah, I'm probably. Yeah, I'm probably the brightest glow shroom in here. We're talking 1,000 watts, 90 second intervals, and I can bench like five times my own weights. Glowstream is so annoying. It's like, no one cares how many reps you can do or how many dead plant shakes you can drink a day. Wow. Science got some sass. Great job! Okay, now let's... Now that we destroyed the ecosystem in here... Come on, move, move, move. There you go. Uh, the joystick controls in RPG Maker games always frustrate me. So I hold left and end up going down, or vice versa. You found the blacksmith's tools. Cool. Oh, my wonderful tools! Thank you so much! Now, as promised, I'll clear your path to Morzor's Grove. There you go. Oh, I better go back to my shop. Thanks for everything! Oh, one more thing! If you use my shop, I can build you some tools of your own. It's gonna take me a lot of time to get everything up and running again, though. So why don't you come back once you're done and talk to Morzor? Hopefully, I'll be ready by then. Good luck! Oh, I was going to explore all the missing spots in the cave, but I guess not. Guess I'll continue the storyline. Music stops. 
I recommend against going down this path for the time being. There are far too many endpoints beyond this point. Okay. Thanks for the warning. Pretty. This is where the Master Sword is? Wow, that's a big bird. Look at all these chickens. I'm not sure who's talking. Is it raccoon? Is it the bird? It looks like we have visitors. Hmm. I do not recognize their kind at all. I don't think they're from Warzor's forest. Hmm. Definitely not from around here. Definitely not. It's been many years since we've had visitors such as these. Tell me, young boy, what brings you to the Keeper's Grove? I want to ask Morzora if he would grant me a wish. I'm willing to do whatever it takes. I'm sorry, but Morzora has been sleeping for a while now. Oh. Do you know when he's going to wake up? My boy, this is not an ordinary slumber. A darkness has fallen over Morzora's land. And over him as well. I like this song, I really do. A darkness? You see, we have long shared this world with the envoy. They are spirits between this realm and the next. Typically peaceful, merely passing through. However, lately, more and more of them have become overrun with negative energy. Anger, fear, hatred. The whole forest can feel it. If Morizora sleeps, and darkness subsumes his lands. We all are in danger. It is terrible. We have to do something. Let me try to wake him up for you. <laughs> My boy, Marzora cannot be awoken up. Oh, well, cannot be awoken by just any means. When darkness has caused him to fall into slumber, the only thing that can awaken him is a very special song. A song that we call. Mori no Kokoro. Can you teach it to me? No, my child, I cannot. But that's not to say that you can't learn it. Just say you don't know. When you can hear things that are too quiet for the ears, the fear and longing, the hopes and dreams of those around you, then you can wake him. I'm sorry, but I don't understand? Look around us. Do you see the stones with different markings? Yes. Yes. Each one represents a voice that is calling out for your help. Right now. A man whose connection with his wife has been severed. Oh. A woman who prepares to lose that which is the most dear to her. Seek them out along with the rest who call out to you. If you help them, they will teach you what you seek to learn. See that one over there? Yes? Shh! Listen! My wife's been asleep for months now. Something tells me that's a good place to start. Good luck, young one. Return to us if you need any help. So each of the people in the hospital, in the real world, I need to help. Oh, that makes it so mm, sad. Don't forget to come by my shop. I'll make you an X. That's the plan. Because 
once I have the axe, I can loot everything. And that's pretty much going to be the extent of what I do for the episode. I'm just going to grab the axe and loot everything else. Oh, hey, you guys. Thanks again for helping me get my tools back. My shop isn't fully functional yet, but if you bring me the right materials, I can make you an axe of your own. I need five chem four sticks and three pieces of nightstone. I'm sure you can find those things in the area just south east of the village. Oh, fine. My orders are to leave with chief. No one's allowed beyond this point until further notice. Uh, we could probably just move the sign, but it doesn't look too heavy. Excuse me. No one moves me. I'm here for your protection, you know. There are angry spirits beyond here. You don't worry about us anymore. No, why is that? We just went through the Morazora's cave. We even got the blacksmith's tools back for him after they were stolen by angry spirits. In fact, the blacksmith sent us to collect materials for him. Oh, really? But why didn't you say so? You're free to pass, but be careful. Okay. <laughs> okay, so... How many is that? That's just one of each. Berries? Loot everything. Mild onion. Have you ever heard the stereotype that onions smell bad? Well, let me tell you, it's not true. Sure, I might have a few cousins who only shower once a month. The trash cans are overflowing with fast food wrappers. But they're the exception. For the most part, we smell rather nice. Yeah, I actually don't mind the smell of onions. They don't make me cry or anything. Like, maybe if I rub my eyes after touching one. But, you know, that's how a lot of food works. Eh. God, there's so much food talk in this game. Hi, I'm a Minamori. There are many of us. We all have a number attached to our name. Do you know what the numbers stand for? It's the order in which we came into this world. Wow, so that's just, you know, lazy naming. Smug onion. <laughs> what do you, you want? That's a big rock. Oh, man. <laughs> the hiccups, jeez. Minimal escape, but the Levos use the area south of here for their Star Night Festival. They get crazy. You know what's really crazy? You're just slave to your possessions. You know what? You know, you know what I'm saying? It's overwhelming. That's why I decided to get rid of all my stuff. Except for my garden. I love my garden. So you're thinking? It feels bad taking one to that guy's box. He's standing right there. Don't feel bad. I don't even need it anymore. You know, it's tough at first to let go of your possessions. But once you do, it's sweet, sweet freedom. Cool. Thanks for the cash, bro. Now to make the tool. Taking my berries. Whoops. Ah, I see you found the materials for your ex. One moment, please. 
Hope you enjoy your new axe. You received an axe. Or axe cram, bamboo, and other types of wood. In fact, why don't you go test down that door up there? Chop it down! Feel free to take what you find inside. Oh, I give a boarded up door in your hut. Why not? Can't argue with that logic. So now that I have the axe, the rest of... Oh, another marble for suit. The rest of the episode is just going to be me cutting down everything I have access to in this world before I go back to um, the hospital. So if you don't want to see any more, you can leave now. Thank you for stopping by. Otherwise, I'm choppy choppy choppy. Grab cool things. Probably mainly money. Maybe the occasional... Uh, what you call it? Marble for Sue. I don't know why I'm gathering berries. Uh, I won't go to the left yet, because that seems like a new zone. I'll do that next episode. I will explore the cave area. All the areas I missed, though. Because I'm feeling there's more bedrooms. Places in the cave. There's one. Lots of money. Whoa, Lulu, you're so radical. My source tell me that you've stepped down a lot of bedrooms. Whee! Guess you totally earned access to the store. The store. But remember that the RPS and dudes that the RPS deem worthy there are allowed to buy items from the store. Woo! I was saying thank you for your help, little dude, and super rad mom. Unfortunately, we're not quite open yet. Why don't you come back in a while and we'll totally hook you up. So I guess that means I got all the bad shrooms. Okay. I still feel like there's some areas I missed, though. Like right here. a frog. You found Glenn the frog. I got a frog! Maybe you can take him back to the hospital. I bet I'll make a great pet for the people on my floor. Okay. Sure. Makes sense to me, kid. Okay, yes, that's us. There's only 25 gold and Glenn the frog in there. Let's explore a little bit more. I need a special tool for that, I'm sure. And there's some treasure chest down here, I believe. Let's just uh, zoom up to those. Okay, I'm going to stop here. And next episode, come back to... I don't know. I might talk to some people around this town area. See if there's any side quests. And then I'll go to the hospital and do things there. Because that's what I'm supposed to do. So thank you for stopping by. Yada yada yada. Blah blah blah. You know the drill. Bye bye.